In the words of the Beach Boys, wouldn't it be nice if you no longer had to read product manuals? What if technology could allow you to ask a manual as if it was an AI? But unlike the sort of world of AI where you don't know where it's got its references from, you could ask the AI and it would give you the correct answer and it would also show its sources. I'm talking about a real thing that you can try right now. And I have used to learn difficult products that I have had to make videos about. And I'm gonna show you what it is. To the Google. Here we go. This is Google, perhaps you've heard of it. But maybe you have or haven't heard of Google Notebook LM, language model. So Google Notebook LM is a note-taking and research assistant from your good friends at Google. And it uses AI and it's a tool that you can use to upload PDFs and data to, and then you can ask questions and it will immediately give you the answer with citations. And I am talking like, how do I set up a MIDI channel on a Torso T1? What is pitch versus harmony? Or you could even ask it, give me a script for a compelling YouTube video that I didn't do that. But you can ask it for a script and it will give you one. Um, but that's not what we're going to do. I'm going to show you it. So say I've got the manual for the Torso T1. An amazing 300, 223 page manual, 223 pages 223 and instead of uh, reading this i'm going to download it and i have it here there it, oop, there it was that was it but let's feed it into google notebook lm yes i will try you let's create a new notebook we will upload our source it's this delicious document the t1 user manual we ingest and wait. Now I've just cut there, but there was probably about a 30 seconds delay. What's this? This is a user manual for the Torso T1, a 16 track algorithmic sequencer. It's given me a summary. That's helpful. But I've got some questions for you, Torso Manual. For example, I'm maybe sat here. I've got this set up. I'm ready to play. How do I set up MIDI channels on the torso T1? Torso. I'll even add a question mark so it's clear that I'm asking a question. And here is the answer. With citations. If you click here, it shows you where it is getting this information from. Very cool. Uh, how do I create custom user scales, mate? I won't add mate. It's not my mate. Oh. To create a custom user scale on the Torso T1, follow these steps. Thanks very much. Now, this is obviously only as clever as the sources. You can feed multiple documents into this. For example, if you were researching some classic bit of kit like a DX7 or something, you could put loads of reference manuals into it. That fact would be very interesting to do. Multiple sources and then query it. So the way to think about this is like it's, it's like um, ChatGPT except unlike ChatGPT, it is limited in its data source to just the documents that you've uploaded. So that means that if you upload the Torso T1, then that's what it's an expert in. And its power is in how it is able to use language to interpret questions and just go zooming straight to the correct answer. Indescribably helpful. And behind me, this is where I make YouTube videos, as my melodies, and I have a computer monitor, and that computer monitor is connected to this computer so that I could do things like have Google Notebook LM open, so that I could ask questions and fill in my own knowledge as I was learning the device. And while I was making a video, you could well just be teaching yourself how to do something. And if you're like me, you kind of have a good idea of what you want to do, and it's really just like, 
just just explain how to use this one feature I'm looking at. And that's what you can do with this. You can ask it questions and it will give you answers with citations so you don't really have to read the manual. Although, of course, you should probably read the manual a bit, you know. There's obviously benefits to reading a manual. But in the case of an enormous manual, there are also colossal benefits to just being able to ask the question and get the answer. There's one final thing, though. I made this video because Google Notebook LM is not famous for this feature. But the thing it's famous for is this feature. This is the thing that lets it generate an audio podcast based on the document that you upload. I just clicked a button and yes, what it is going to do is generate an audio podcast of the Torso T1 Sequencer User Manual. You may find yourself living in a dystopian reality. Mm -mm. So it's just generating now. Oh, I'd like a cup of tea. <coughs> uh, sorry, that's done. Uh, that took about... Like a solid three hours, no, uh, five minutes or so. And here we go. Look, we've got our podcast. Thank God, finally. It's created 39 minutes and 27 seconds of podcast based on the manual. Hey, everyone, and welcome back for another deep dive. Today, um, we're going to be taking a look at something that could totally change the way you make music. Mm. The Torso T1. Now, if you're new to this whole world, a sequencer is basically like a musical brain that can program and control your instruments, playing notes and rhythms automatically. Right. And the T1. This one's special. It's a special kind of sequencer. It's called an algorithmic sequencer. Yeah. Which is where things get really interesting. Oh. Instead of like you having to program every single note, it uses algorithms. Think of them like musical recipes okay. to generate these evolving organic patterns. Yeah. The manual makes it sound like you're almost playing the sequencer itself. Yeah. Like an instrument rather than just programming it. Totally. The manual mentions all these buttons and knobs. I know, right? 23 multicolor right. buttons <laughs> and 18 endless rotary knobs. As a person who like makes things like that as a job, it is definitely of concern to me that this is a thing and like and also what is this by the way what is this what is this what is about to happen here oh yeah let's hear it yeah what what hey thanks for chiming in hey yeah what's up hello can you hear me Hello to you too. Yeah, nice to have you here. We were just about to get into how the T1 is an algorithmic sequencer. Yeah, and we think you'll find it interesting. It's where things get really cool. It's different from a typical sequencer where you have to manually input. What just happened? What was that? Did I just talk to them? I just talked to them manually. These to generate evolving patterns. These patterns sorry, are... uh, can I ah, can I just ask yeah, you a question? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, sorry, who are you and can you tell me uh, like give me like a 10 seconds on what this T1 is. Absolutely. It's great you're asking questions. Yeah, we want this to be fun for you, our listener. So again, I'm here to explore the details and context of the T1. And I'm here to make things easy and relatable. And as for a quick recap of the T1 in 10 seconds. Yeah, it's an algorithmic sequencer. Which means it generates musical patterns with algorithms. It's different from regular step sequencers. It's a created tool that controls your other musical devices. Okay, and now that we've done that... Let's dive into what this T1 can do. Yeah, let's do it. Right. I didn't know it did this. This is a new thing where you can just ask f***ing questions. You can just stop the, like, robots and talk to them. Go, I'm sorry, robots. I have an... In in case it isn't obvious, I'm actually really impressed by this. Like, I find this shockingly effective and scary and kind of amazing. Like, this to me feels like this is what AI should be used for. It should be something that I can 
used to like laser in on something that would otherwise be hard for me to digest and to use it to then ask questions so that I can just get the answer. Like um, like it's an assistant who's read the manual for me, a real person. And I go, all right, Julie or Steve, can you just, what, what, how does this work then? And Steve and Julie, they tell you. Well, that's what this is. F I didn't realise you could f like interject. And to be clear as well, I've done this before and listened to the podcast. They're not perfect. Occasionally they have weird things. They say weird things. They have weird glitches and the odd thing. But I must admit that for the most part, they do summarise the qualities of the thing quite well. Like that is a reasonable summation in layman's terms of what the T1 is. That's not bad. That's good. Like that's useful. There's use to this. So, oh. Initially, I started this video as a way of explaining about what is valuable about this manual questioning system. You can simply ask your questions and get a written answer with citations. But we have learned further that there are also an audio summation of it. I did not realise there is now an interactive mode, which is in beta. But I would recommend using it. It's an excellent way of digesting manuals. And also, it's an excellent way of questioning your sense of self-worth. If you're a person who explains music equipment, you know, eventually there'll just be a Milo Melodies algorithm. I, you know, who am I to get in the way of progress? In the meantime, I have a Patreon. If you found this valuable, please consider hopping on uh, links below. Uh, and we'll see you next time, if there is a next time, uh, if I'm not replaced by robots. Thanks very much. Bye.